Hello everyone, welcome back to Ultra's Plays, Minecraft Splits Black Splier. Um, I've just been fiddling around some of the stuff that in the last episode I found there were problems with. One of them was the fact that we didn't have any Surtis Quartz. <laughs> it wasn't me. I didn't do it. Alright, let's 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 start from the beginning. Uh, I went over here into the restricted area to have a look at the greenhouse. If you want to know what's wrong in a situation like this, the normal thing that's the problem is that there's something in the servo that can't go anywhere. The thing is, it doesn't really tell you what that is. Not sure if there's a way of finding out because you know shift right click or right click brings this up with no information in it if you take it off with a shift right click of the crescent hammer something else will fall out as well if that was the problem if it wasn't the problem put it back turn it on again if it was the problem put it back turn it on again and then fix the problem the problem was that there was nowhere for the wheat to go so i've put um, a single stack upgrade and a void upgrade on the wheat so this will give us 4096 Four thousand, yeah, four thousand ninety-six uh, wheat, and then it will void the rest. This is now plenty again. But the other thing is, of course, that we had a lot of surface quartz seeds not really doing anything because you have nowhere to plant them. And remember, this biotogenic insulator was there to um, convert seeds with rich phyto grow into the thing that they make, and then the seeds. So this should now be filling up this. 86 already, which is pretty decent. That's going quite fast. We could easily upgrade this now. So currently it has two orcs reception cores, and that's not going very fast at all. This can go all the way up to Signalium, I think. We might have to teach something how to make Signalium, but that's fine. The other problem was that this um, supply of Phytogrow here I don't want this, um, was not working, and the reason that, that was not working reason that was not working was that down here this situation is very a little bit min maxi because i was trying to avoid using too many channels and i was probably for the best because the seven of eight are currently in use which means you know it's not the the most well uh well it's not very efficient you know it's not the most optimized let's put it that way so this is inserting things into this furnace and also into this fluid transposer somehow this fluid transposer had got cobblestone in it which we saw in the previous episode uh i don't know where that came from and I don't know why it was in there but obviously it wasn't doing anything I looked in there and I just looked away not realizing that that cobblestone should not have been in there now that we can put the uh, fighter grow into here we can make rich fighter grow which is what we're doing up there perfect so now what I'm thinking of is looking at um, what's the name of the thing it's thermal uh, great here we go so signalum is the best and then resonant is the one after it doesn't actually tell you what the tiers are but it goes hardened Reinforced, resonant, and signal. I think. Oh, it might be in this order. Let's find out. Um, can we make this? No. This is uh, an alloy recipe. Nailum is made from. Uh, Expecting more. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you, I assume you can cook some. Alloy smelter, three copper, one silver, and ten redstone in the alloy smelter. And it looks like it's only in the alloy smelter, which is weird. It was three different things, though, so that makes some sense. Um, but I was expecting maybe you could do it. Oh, you guess you could do it in the Tinker's Construct. That's something we could think about automating. In the I'm not too much of a fan of that right now because it does involve a little bit of messing around. Uh, there's a factorizer from Thermal. Ah, there's a factorizer from Thermal. Which doesn't do the thing <laughs> I thought it was going to do. So Thermal Expansion... Thermal Foundation Signalum can only be made by someone else's machine, but that's the nature of this pack, I think. Um, normally, oh, there's a Signalum blend. Ah, this might work. Here is where we were talking about fluids again. I forgot offline to uh, actually figure that out. We do that together. Let's have a look. At what happens if you take an ME interface? Let's get one. Get an interface. Chip, chip. With an ME interface. In no, interface. Craft one of those. Okay. Put that away. Take your time. Shouldn't take too long. This is actually nice and quick. I'm very pleased with the overall speed of this. Some things could probably be faster, but yeah, by the time I've gone on about it, it's starting to work again. There is an interface here as well, which is possibly doable. Um, let's plug this here and see what happens. Because, okay, so you can't pipe into an interface. Uh, there's probably a fluid interface. Yeah, 
just just occurred to me whilst I was doing it because I'm a smart man. But you go away. Let's teach you about fluid interfaces, even though we don't have any clothes left. Do you have any patterns? Yes. All the ones we asked for a long time ago are now available. Uh, no. <laughs> go in there. In there. Oh, hey. Right. Fluid interface. There may be another sneeze. It's not been long since I finished on the previous episode. Oh, actually, so. Yes, that will do. Uh, so the sneeze from the end of the previous episode might be coming around again for another go at it, which is not ideal, but, you know, I'll win them all. Uh, fine, let's do that. And give me a fluid interface. There we go. Yes. That was extremely quick. Thank you for being so quick. So now we can probably just do this. What? Okay, so now do we have fluid storage? No, down, down yeah. So the fluid storage cell. Not storing any fluid. You only store five types on the fluid cell. One or sixteen. It already annoyed me. <laughs> there we go. So that's the missing one. How do we get fluid into the interface? In how do we get? Well, for a start, maybe if you hooked it up to the ME system, you like that might help, huh? Actually, that was probably the right place. Put that back, uh, and then go and get a cable. I was talking about making a wireless thing, and this is why. Oh, and then you should be setting up one of these, maybe? This one, probably. Yeah. So we can probably force you just... Uh... <laughs> the thing is, what we don't want to do is fill up the system with just water. It's going to happen if we leave that there, right? Uh, we also want to be able to store destabilized redstone for a start because that's what we're just looking at. Um, and then, of course, a destabilized redstone bucket is crafting recipe. Crafting recipe? So that's another question. What happens if I want to use the fluid in the system? Okay, we'll deal with that later. For now, I do want a destabilized redstone bucket, which means I want... You know what? Let's just make this map. Nail and it is autumn stick nail and plate nail and thermal foundation it is an alloy recipe between copper, silver, and redstone. And I believe that is four redstone. How'd you make a bucket of magma crucible? One redstone gives me a hundred. Well, that's silly, isn't it? So, five redstone is going to give me. Two of the six nuggets. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, one. So I need five. So I need to double this recipe. So that's that's one. That's probably three. Yeah, three copper, one silver. Luckily, two, four, and then six copper. Five, six. Oh, now I've got seven. And then some redstone is going to be 10 of those. Where's my redstone? One, two. Oh. Okay. Oh. You're chucking it, not tree. You're chucking it. Oh, it fits. Probably some left in there, but whatever. Minger. Well, plenty of fuel and love. Like, this is a good reason for this area to exist. It's not just to double our ores. That's. And then neither here nor there. This is because we want to do this real quick. There we go. And then. <laughs> More faster. Go. Go, go. Uh, weirdly, constantly filling up this. Can we stop this, please? Try this again. And you are good. 
Try this and then empty this. Why have you done this to me? Uh, how about you drop this and then should be a ingot cast table. You're gonna go here. You're gonna go here. Boop and then boop and boop and. Apparently that's doing it. No, what is happening? What is happening? Why are you doing that? First of all, why are there redstone ingots? Secondly, why are you making them? Thirdly, why are you making them? Ask for that. Go there. You get that out of here. Stabilize redstone. Where did my copper and silver go? I feel like I didn't have any. What are you doing? Stabilized redstone. It's literally just molten redstone. What? Where? What? Huh? Huh? I had copper and silver in here, and you know it. So don't even pretend. You save. It's literally just redstone. Not like a, an alloy. Yeah. Game. You're killing me. And the other thing I'm going to do, you have to be sure. This won't take long, actually, so I'm not going to use my time in a bottle. We'll just watch and talk about uh, the weather. Uh, how are you? Uh, you there's, there's not enough small talk in the world for to fill in the amount of time that this takes to smell, but that also has you know value in, in stuff. Here we go. Are you now doing stuff? You have four ingots of molten signalum and plenty of. But. But. How much more. How much more redstone do you need? Hey, Alloying. One ingot is. 145 minutes. What? That's less than an ingot. That's like nuggets. Right, right, right. Four of these is one silver ingot, right? That's what we learned. Ah, maths. It, it all fits together when you figure it out. One bucket three copper and one silver makes some right so this is a quarter of a bucket which means this is quarter of three ingots and this is a quarter of a silver ingot but we put some in so we've done two to six so we need just a bunch more <laughs> basically but how is it the how are these the same proportion so they should be there should be way less silver in, than there is copper so let's throw some more redstone this is the bit that takes forever, unfortunately. Oh. Put this in here. Feed it there. We ain't got time for this. That's really fast. I <laughs> appreciate that. Right, how much is this going? Right, so now we need uh, six more copper, I think. That's and we can de... 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 de nuggetify the redstone, however we like. Whoa! So <laughs> you can't block in two ingots of this. How are you not even merging? I don't get it. I'm Fredstone. Why are you buzzing, phone? No one cares about Facebook. Right. Played out everything but the rest of it. Exactly what I expected because I'm not going to be. <laughs> I'm not going to count the redstone. Try it. One block seven ingot. Might as well do the block. I would like to make more of that. But instead, I'm just not going to. Because that would involve more math that I'm not prepared for right now. Very late. <laughs> it's half past ten. 
Come on. Fair off, that's fine. How long are you going to take to cool down? Is it ages? Yes. This, we'll put this down. Why have I got so many things I don't need? One, two, three, redstone. Boring got <laughs> silly amount of redstone. Honestly, I kind of don't care. All of this stuff is uh, basically basically who cares stuff right now because it's all coming out of chickens and I'm not interested in the plight of chickens. I'm just going to leave this like this, to be honest. With you. All of this stuff can go. I'm not interested. Problems with Right. Uh, and then uh, boop, and then boop, and then boop, and then dun, dun, dun. Right. Enough. Signalum upgrade kit. We need cryothium dust, which is blizz powder, which is... Blizz rod? Fabulation apparatus. Not going to happen. Uh, we could make a blizz rod chicken. Mobile and blitz rod chicken. Let's go back. <laughs> it's probably an easier way of making cryothium. Specifically. <clears throat> we can add a snowball with liquid XP. That's interesting. I like this idea. We can also use essence, which comes from a mob farm, I think. Something we could be... Oh, ho, ho, hold on. You have a bucket of essence. No. One of you makes essence. I forgot where essence comes from. Have a look at this. Uh, you and then you and then... Blue transposer is a bucket now. Uh, essence comes from... <coughs> oh, it's just considered to be... Uh, just that. That's interesting. Mob Crusher. Mob Crusher makes one of these. Is it? Oh, yes, you. You are a conduit full of essence not going anywhere or should be... We're going straight back in. Ah. You're going in here. Yes. Okay. Um... <clears throat> I think we have a new plan for the rest of the episode. This is bad, <coughs> excuse me, because this is a fluid conduit, not an ender fluid conduit. Um, and I would like, I think we should be able to make more easily. So ender fluid, and teach it. That might be difficult. Um, I think I might be in the production. Don't know if we can make it yet. Put it in here. Um, I. Uh, ender fluid condom. Vibrant alloy. So, vibrant alloy. Vibrant. Processing. Processing. Verb. Do it again. I like verbs. Uh, verb is a liking word. Right, you are going to go in the induction space. Room for one more. Perfect. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you are just a coded pattern. For yep. And fluid. Okay. Energetic alloy. Okay, thanks. Uh, energetic. Yeah. Probably another induction smelter recipe, which is a problem. You don't have any. Oh, this one. I'm gonna have to teach this thing how to use the alloy smelter. Here. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> That's okay. We have a spare interface. I wish there was a quick way of getting it. Yep. Um, and some cables. I've 
could use a lot of those cables because I crafted a whole bunch off camera recently. You're going there, and then you lot are going in here, and this. Honestly, it. <laughs> we can't put any more interfaces in this place, so we're going to have to be a little bit smarter about our, our situation here. Wait, can we make it now? Uh, end. Conduit next. Can. Yeah. Okay. Right. I want more. Can. This should be doing stuff now. The mm, 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 Ender I.O. machines are quite, quite slow. There's a little issue for me, and I'm not sure if this one feels a bit not ideal. And of course, this drains really fast. I remember now. Now it slows down. Anyway, I'm going to get one. <laughs> and there's no way to... Oh, right, we have to take it out again. Um, how do we do that? No item. Item. Oh god, but nice, nice. So you're going to be extracting. I'm hoping this is going to work because you need to be. Uh, need to be an extract. Oh, is active and please extract. It did. And I don't think that's going to be a problem, actually. Because I don't think it's going to extract stuff as soon as it goes in there. <laughs> I'm hoping that it won't extract stuff as soon as it goes in there. So, how are you doing? Get what you need? I know it was slow. Yes. Perfect. Oh my god. Yep. Uh, Great. Wait, you go. Fine. Oh, fine. Right. Uh, that might be more than 12, actually. Make some more. If we get some more going, then it'll be ready. Oh, it's making more. I don't think it's probably enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Must have just been on its way. Uh, fluid. Right, so. We also need a tank for it, of course. Um, oh, we could use. Actually, we could put a tank there. Have that extract. That might work. Let's do that. This tank. Yes. I like the idea of using the ender tank. The reason I like the idea of using the ender tank is that we can make it green. Have a heckin' lot of cash. And it can represent um whole concept of essence green tank and then we can use that in more than one fluid transposer with me so far as a result active these one because if i have the ender tank full of this stuff this will let me basically use it wherever i want to rather than being forced to use it either directly from the ME system by pumping it into the ME system from the fluid interface or having to do it over here in the first place. Not something. I don't need to do this. <laughs> Any of this. Give this back. I need to do that. That should be fair with. Are you? you are green. You'll be filling up with essence. I wallop this. Hmm. 
Till our next track. Let's get used to it. Only on. You are only on next track. What is inserting here? That is. What is that? Got anything in you? Love the effect of that. Ooh, hello. Full of fluid of essence. Should be. Oh, you're not connected. <laughs> yeah, I need to do. <laughs> yeah, sure. This. You can. Uh, yeah, there we go. Those those were separate because that was a completely different way of working, and now it's not separate because of magic. Right, you are full of essence, or well, you're not full of essence. Will be if I turn the lights off. You're on, you're off. Let's turn the lights off. Are you crazy? That is right. So you're killing stuff. Filling this full of essence. Nice. Is it working? Yeah. And it's going to be extracting everything it needs, always active, in order to keep that tops up. And the rest I get to keep. Nice. Now, let's go and create another fluid transfer. Is that. <laughs> Just add everything to. Go. How about next? Next. It's going to work. It's going to straight up do it. So now, if I want, for example, Blizz Powder, I can come over here and I can request from this. Put F7 back on so I get baddies. Where's the dark spot? I can request from oh, power. Request from this. This is going to now fill up with. Right? You drain into that. From. Above. Please. No? Oh, you're full of essence. Why wouldn't you go in here? Don't know. Um, the left, you're going to accept that. Let's pick you up quick. Bung you down with a fluid conduit and then there and then extract active and then that. Hooray! Right. If we get you to insert. Right, what was our blizz? Blizz. Blizz rod. Goodness. Blizz rod. Oh. So we transpose it with snowballs and liquid XP or essence. We have essence. So let's look for snowballs. So we've got 2060 snowballs. Where they came from? What is creating snowballs? We don't have a snow chicken, don't we, actually? That thing. Bone white. And. In log snowball. We have snowball chicken. So it's been producing all these snowballs all this time, and all of a sudden I have reason for it, which is amazing. Right, uh, you go away, and then. Well, I don't need to worry about creating snowballs because we already have them. Which means this, oops, needs to be in this mode. This thing, out of this thing, is just this. Two snowballs creates blizz powder. This would be impossible if we didn't have a way of picking the thing. But in theory, if this is correct, this will go in the right place because it shouldn't go in here because this doesn't do anything. Water and snowball doesn't do anything. This and snowball does do something. So let's ask the system, please, blizz powder. 
Ta-da! Perfect. Um, we can already start by making some upgrades for this. So let's make some uh, applied up. <laughs> Why are you being weird? Um, it is resin. Right? Resin upgrade. So that needs the tier procedure. So upgrade. Have reinforced and we have hardness. Where do we get resin from? Must have been a um best reward. We are making sixty four of those in our own damn time. We are making should have these. You can have this and then this. And then so resin is the best one. So it is in order. It is in order. Um, then we are going to do the do those extremely quick. Thank you. And boom, boom. And then you're going to take extra power. You're going to go way faster. Not considerably faster, but again, the whole point of this is that we're augmenting these down four so that they can go faster. Um, why are you not? You're supposed to be exporting. To this side. When it finishes, it should kick them out. There we go. Nice. This will allow us to make upgrade kit of the Signalum fashion. It's not in crafting mode. And we, for resonant, it's going to be pyrothium dust. We'll teach it this for now, but I've not taught it pyrothium dust. Pyrothium is going to be essentially yeah, blaze powder, which I think is probably going to be the same idea that was sulfur. I don't know where we get sulfur. Um, well, there's sulfur chickens, apparently. Uh, pulverizer makes it from pulverizing various things that we're not really doing. Do we have any sulfur in the first place? 41, so I don't know where that would have come from. But there we go. We have now got all of our Upgrade kit sorted out. We should probably encode the conversion kit. That'll make sense. On because basically we're going to be wanting to do a resonant conversion kit quite a lot. Uh, so name conversion. I mean, yeah, these are very sensible recipes. They literally just shortcut the process. I have to right click four times. No, thank. You. A whole bunch of them already from probably when we made the uh, the tree farm. Nice or all sorted. So this is making me a whole bunch of pyrothium. Why are you in here? That's right. Yeah, go from there to there then. And then, yeah. So it hasn't put anything. In oh, it has. I mean, ideally, we'd have two of these. We'd have a, an ME interface for the correct thing. What we could do. Bear with, bear with. Um, is. Did my other. Should have made the wireless kit when I was going to. Camera. We can do. We pop this off. Joink. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'm pretty sure that's just... Oh my goodness. This is a fluid conduit. This is a fluid conduit. My item conduits. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I had item conduits with me. Go away. Go away. Item con... Yep. Put this on here. Again. <laughs> no! <laughs> Why I order? Okay. Um... <coughs> Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me, I'm sure. So these are great. Uh, we can do this. Bonk. 
you are going to be in I need a filter let's learn about filters I'm gonna go in here I'm gonna create a filter from Ender IO. Uh, basic item filter. Two of those. What is this? Works like an upside down hopper. Fair enough. Filtering for dummies. That is a. Oh, it's not an issue. It's not a. So in here, we're going to put filter here. And then in here, we're going to put a filter here. Can you, you can be insert. You can be. Insert. And then if we edit this, we can say you're only allowed to put. Snowballs in here, and then this one is for buckets because we have these two in here. I go and get a bucket. Bucket. We have a destabilized redstone bucket. Again, probably just a quest reward that I could not care less about. So then you're gonna accept buckets like this, and because of reason, you. will also be insertable as well. So, you're going to extract always active on green. That's fine. Um, is it fine? You're going to extract on green and put into either here because this allows snowballs or here because this allows buckets. This is going to extract... I don't need this need any of this because you are also going to extract on green you're going to be extracting water buckets on green so on your side here you should be doing the... this so you've got not you you've got input and output this input that output you've got input for this i don't know why these aren't separate inputs but that's okay that's going to fill those you have got fluid input on top and item input on the side and item output on the side and you're going to be extract always active you're going to be extract always active just in case it doesn't like it so whenever there's something in here or in here it's going to get extracted and put into there this is the only one that can accept either of these outputs and it cannot accept its own output so that's fine so these can all be on green And now, if I were to ask for a water bucket, it would go in there. If I were to ask for snowballs, they would go in here. And never the twain shall meet. That's the goal there. Anyway, so you're a reinforced upgrade. I don't need you to be reinforced. You're already reinforced. Blah, blah, blah. You are going overboard. Finally finish your job. Upgrade you a little bit, and then... Get some. Yep. Uh, you're down here. There we go. Ding ding. You should already be augmented. You have actually got a resin funnel in you, which is why you're going slower than necessary, because I want you to produce sap and not uh, whatever you would. Have. Okay, cool. I think we have successfully done everything. That's a bit of a long episode, but we have uh, we've made good use of this. Um, I'm hoping that this isn't going. Getting clogged up too much. I think I'm just deleting everything from. I, I really couldn't care less. Everything from here can go away. There's nothing I need from them particularly. Maybe they could probably you know, give me some amazing swords or armor, but I'm beyond caring. We've got everything we need from them, which is a tank full of essence. And the tank full of essence is going to create blizz powder. We then need a source of sulfur at some point in the future, which is not something that I really know how to do, whether or not it's spelled correctly. Um, except for the fact that we can obviously get a sulfur chicken, which is gunpowder and flint, and I'm pretty sure that would be nice and easy. Probably already got a gunpowder. Uh, somehow not. But that's okay. Definitely got a flint chicken. Redstone barrels. Yeah, that's all fine. I will probably make the chickens off camera again, as we're all used to, but until then. And I, I've done whatever I'm going to do. Thank you for watching this episode. I hope that you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something. I certainly did. And until the next episode, I'm sure I will see you again. Good day. Oh, thank you.